Hello there, so we're going to catch you up to date. I've uh, been gone for a few weeks and I have collected some albums. And as you know, I uh, kind of shop around to all kinds of different places, all the record stores here in Kansas City, because frankly, they're all really good. They all have different uh, styles and things that they specialize in, and they all have different specials. So, uh, you know, they all have kind of rewards programs that are a little different than each other's. And uh, so we're going to jump right into it. The one thing that just came out was the 50th anniversary of Harrison is kind of the remix and the redo of it. So I picked this up at Vinyl Underground and their specials are as each week if you're part of their email blog, you get a blast from them. It shows all the new albums coming out and at the end of it, if you bring that in and show it to them, you get 20% off any single item in the store. So anything there at all so it can be a brand new release an old release uh you know an import anything that you want so i picked up george harrison's all things that pass i was able to get the five disc set uh lps for basically the three disc price uh it was 89.77 to begin with and with 20 percent discount off that i was able to get it for the cheaper price of the three lp set now this set, uh, I didn't have this previously. It comes in this big box, which is really cool, the box set. I've been looking at trying to pick it up on uh, as a used item and just never saw it at the right price and or the right condition I wanted to, so it's cool to get this. And they, they did it right, the packaging in it. You know, it comes with a booklet that is there from it and has a huge poster that folds out and I can fold out for you, but then they did it right with the inner sleeves. The inner sleeves have you know, the coloring on it that it is purple and then all the lyrics to the songs on there. But not only that, they put it on in paper with also the plastic uh, insert sleeve to protect the album. So nice heavyweight uh, vinyl also. The thing about this was is it is a remix and so when I put it on I was uh, I was expecting this huge sound this you know the really big sound that uh, the original recordings are and this is a little stripped down a little more acoustic but uh, it's just not doesn't have that big reverb sound to it which actually I think I like this better uh, you can really hear the instruments and and all the uh, intricacies of the uh, playing on the album. So it was a really good, cool thing to pick up uh, from them. And again, you get with the five disc set, I've listened to the first three of them already, and it's just like, wow, all the songs on here are just amazing. That's why this was the best solo released album by any of the Beatles. And of course, when it came out, it was three albums, which was kind of unheard of back in that time to have all those albums come out. And he had this whole catalog of uh, songs that he hadn't released with the Beatles. So all the songs on it are great. So well, I picked that up for Vinyl Underground. As you know, I pick up things that uh, from all the different record stores around and uh, picked uh, this one up, pre-ordered it from Mills Records Company. And I do a lot of my pre-ordering from them. Their website's really slick and easy to use. And you can go in, they have them really ready and organized for you when you when you go in to pick them up. And the staff's just tremendous there. So, but I picked this up, Anderson East. And the title of it is Maybe We Never Die. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. This is supposed to be on indie white vinyl. So that's why I went ahead and pre-ordered it so I could get that copy of the indie release white vinyl. Now, I had heard of Anderson East before, but I really didn't know his music and saw him live open up for Jim James of My Morning Jacket. And Anderson East just blew me away. His band was so tight. Uh, the rhythm section was really good and his vocals were great. Kind of this gospely soul, you know, raspy little voice, but it was it was a just blew me away it was actually in the rain at the crossroads here small venue outside and uh, i went to see jim james but anderson East blew me away with that so i picked up his first album been listening to it you know well actually this is not his first album but picked up this album of his and uh, encore 
really good also. I suggest if you haven't uh, had that one, pick that up. But Maybe We Never Die is the one that I just got from Mills Record Company. And looks like it has a booklet of some sort here. Oh, looks like a huge, huge poster. Wow. See, that's the thing you don't get out of CDs and that. These huge posters that come in vinyl records nowadays. So, wow, that's cool. Unexpected. Didn't think something like that would be in this vinyl. So, again, has all the lyrics to all the songs. I haven't heard anything off of this one yet. Um, obviously, it's always disappointing when you get it and it's like in cardboard or paper. So, I'll switch that out. But this is on white vinyl of Electra Records. Huh, very cool. Very cool on the white vinyl. So looking forward to listening to it, putting it on and uh, seeing what that's all about. Again, uh, I get records from all kinds of different places and every once in a while you come across something you go, wow, I don't have that. And you're like, I should probably pick that up and or the price is just so cheap that it's like, why can't I? So. I don't usually buy albums or you know music from uh, Walmart, but I picked this up from Walmart online. Went ahead and ordered it to come in. I was ordering a few other things off of Walmart, you know, some socks and stuff like that. And so I already had free shipping. And Walmart is like, if you order thirty-five dollars, you get free shipping whenever you're buying something from Walmart pretty hard not to pick up $35 worth of stuff and I said I got some socks and some stuff and you get ahead and just tack that on to it I always kind of look if I'm ordering something from Jim or Target to do they have any albums that are, that are cheap and the Foo Fighters so yes Foo Fighters and uh, this album here I didn't have it it was twelve dollars and forty seven cents so you can't hardly beat that when you get that. And I said, I don't necessarily like buying stuff from Walmart on vinyl. I like to support the local record stores. But when you see that, $12 for an album that is really good that you don't have, you can't pass it up. So, But again, this is Tracy with Record Fuel. Appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Hi there, we're getting ready to watch the uh, Switchfoot live feed for season pass holders for their uh, Not Traveling music show. This is a thing they started when pandemic hit and they started having uh, live feeds of them playing music acoustically and electrical. Obviously they're getting back out on the road right now, but uh, they're for season pass holders only. If you've signed up for it they are going to play their new album's entirety uh, tonight just for season pass holders so this is something we're going to check out in their live feed uh, ordered the uh, autograph signed vinyl copy hasn't came yet uh, just getting ready to be released in I think the next week or two but uh, we're curious and really excited to see the new uh, album played live uh,
So we're getting ready for night two. We had a listening party the other night. We listened to it. It's really good. Uh, of course, they don't put out bad music. Uh, Switchfoot's just a really great band, and they take a lot of care and time in putting together all the music that they put out. But it's going to be really cool to be able to see it played live in its entirety. Uh, so we're going to check it out and take a look at it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Let's watch in Tarot Bang. So we're watching Switchfoot play Intero Bang live here. Uh, just makes me want to see them here soon. And they're coming to town in Kansas City September 8th. Gonna see them with Need to Breathe. Just watching them play it live looks and feels so much different than when you just hear and listen to the music on an album or a CD or the radio. Uh, just seeing them play it gives a whole other aspect to it and a whole other aspect when you actually see them live. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, and again, great to see this album played live in its entirety. So we listened online to Switchfoot's live playing and listening party of their new album and we uh, watched them play it live in their studio and we got the album now in the mail it's really cool when they send it out and they got their own tape on it which is really neat to get and they put a sticker on it and everything take really good care of it so we're going to go ahead and unbox it and we're going to put it on the table this is supposed to be the indie release only through their website of getting colored vinyl on it and so it's really cool to get that special order and it's signed so looks like hey they sent a little card cool sticker the invoice for it oh very cool and looks like they signed jackets this is very unusual and cool so look at this they signed the outer jacket and I'll open that up and look at it. Very cool. Gatefold there. And then we got the actual album, which is sealed. So very cool to have two of the album covers and one signed. So we're going to go ahead and open it up, see what we got here. And again, it's supposed to be an indie release color just for them through their website. Very cool, all the lyrics on the back, and how about that? Very cool, orange, translucent. So let's go ahead and put this one on. As you can tell, I got Where the Light Shines In. Got it signed over here also through their website. And we're going to go ahead and listen to this. Thanks for tuning in. It's Tracy with Record Fuel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.